and welcome to another of Morse's Math, More Cells. And this problem is A, B, and C are three whole numbers between 1 and 10 chosen at random. The question is, what is the probability that the discriminant of x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a is 0. So the question is, uh, if you were to pick whole numbers a, b, and c between 1 and 10 at random, then what is the probability that this expression, b squared minus 4 AC is zero. So something to think about for a few seconds, pause the video or whatever. Okay, for B squared minus 4AC to equal zero, uh, just add 4AC to each side. And you'll get B squared equals 4AC. Now as for the random values of A, B, and C between 1 and 10 each, A could be any of 1 through 10, and the same for B and the same for C, 1 through 10 each, 1 through 10 each. And there are a total of 1,000 uh, possible uh, arrangements for A, B, and C, 1 through 10. So, of those 1,000 uh, groups of values for A, B, and C, what's the probability that A, and B, and C will be such that a uh, triple of those will result in this B squared equaling 4AC, or this B squared minus 4AC equals 0. Well, I'm going to look at some properties of these whole numbers 1 through 10, for B squared to equal 4ac can b be odd? Could it be 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9? And their answer is no, b cannot be odd because the square of an odd number, b, is also odd. And an odd cannot equal an even expression, 4ac, because we're multiplying the a and the c by 4, and that's an even number. So if B turned out to be odd, nope, the discriminant cannot be zero. So let's move on to all the possibilities for B squared and compare it to 4AC. Again, those two expressions must equal. <coughs> Can B equal 2? Let's see, if B equals 2, uh, 4AC must equal 4. Is there a way for 4 times A times C to equal 4? Yes, there is only one way. A and C must each be 1. 4 times 1 times 1 times 4. So we have found one triple. B equals 2. A and C are each equal to 1. So that's one possibility. Moving on, got to skip over B equals 3. B cannot be on. So let B equal 4. If B equals 4, uh, 4 times A times C must be uh, 16 because B squared equals 16. So how do we get 4 times A times C to equal 16? Well, divide each of these by 4 so that A times C uh, will uh, equal 4. So what values among those small whole numbers will result in A times C equaling 4? Well, A can equal 1 and C equal 4, or A and C can each equal 2, or finally A can equal 4 and C can equal 1. So that's three more possibilities. Let's do a little uh, erasing here, since we won't need these any longer. So, B can be 2, A and C are 1 only, 
If B is 4, A and C can be 1 and 4, or 2 and 2, or 4 and 1. I'm going to start listing those possibilities right now. Okay, we have B equals 2, A equals 1, C equals 1. We have B equal 4. AC can be 1 comma 4 or 2 2 or 4 1. All right. How about for B equals 5? Nope, B is odd. Can't have odd B. B equals 6. B equals 6. 6 squared is 36. So this 4 times A times C must equal 36. And for that to happen, divide each side by 4, and that results in A times C equaling 9. Or AC must choose a whole number so that A times C is 9. What's one possibility? Well, A can be 1, C can be 9. Or, what other whole number is A times C can equal 9? 3 and 3. Any others? Yes, one more. Looks uh, somewhat symmetric. 9, 1. A equals 1. C. If A equals 9, C equals 1. 9 times 1 times a 4 is 36. And 36 is the square of 6, which is B squared. B cannot be 7. That's odd. How about B equals 8? B equals 8. What values for 8? And C, well, 8 squared is 64, so we need a 4 times A times C, which comes out to 64. Or, A times C equals 16. Are there any combinations of the whole numbers 1 through 10 whose product is 16? Yes, there are. One of them is combination 2 and 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Or... Four and four. Or finally, eight and two. So all three more possibilities. So for B equals two back here, we had one outcome. This yields three. For B equals four, B equals six, had three possibilities. B equals eight, also had three possibilities. B cannot be nine, nine is odd. Last one, B equals ten. B equals 10, B squared is 100. So we need a 4 times an A times a C, which is also 100. Divide each of those by 4. And we have to have A times C is 25. There's only one pair of those whole numbers, 1 through 10, whose product is 25. Since it ends in 5 and is odd, that can only be 5 and 5 for A and C. Well, there's one outcome. There are no more. We are out of whole numbers that we can use for B. We've exhausted the possibilities for the values of A and C. Add up all these probabilities. Possibilities. 1, 4, 7, 10, 11. Hence, our probability, I'm just going to abbreviate it from, equals 11 over 1,000. This is uh, just over 1%. Thank you for viewing.